Okay, so why women should strength train. So I coach a lot of women, pretty much all my clients are female at the moment, and I still get resistance when I send people uh, strength training plans, even if it's three times a week. Women still think that they're gonna get big and bulky. I still get in my Q and A's things like, yeah, I can't strength train because the minute I touch a gym, my legs get huge. That is not the case. Your legs do not get huge. If your legs are getting huge, it's because you're eating too much food. You cannot build muscle as a female very quickly. You couldn't get a guy's legs huge. It takes a long, long time to really build muscle, okay? So I've made an awesome in-depth whiteboard presentation for you on the benefits of strength training, why you need to do it to stay lean, and uh, what I recommend. So first of all, a lot of women, uh, and this, I suppose this can, some men as well, a lot of women will, when they wanna lose body fat, their go-to is, I'm gonna start doing cardio, start running, you know, Barry's boot camp, spin classes. Uh, I'm gonna drop my food down. I'm just gonna have salads. I'm just gonna have protein and veg. And they end up massively crashing their calories down. So there are lots of people, women or men, who when it comes to losing body fat, their go-to is, right, I'm gonna drop my food down, you know, salads in the evening. I'm, I'm skipping breakfast. I'm gonna fast in the morning. Uh, I'm just gonna have chicken and tuna. And, and they end up taking their calories very, very, very low. Big problem here, which I'll get to in a second. And their cardio, I'm gonna do spin, I'm gonna do Pilates, I'm gonna do running, I'm gonna do six times a week berries. Again, they end up, to cut a long story short, they take their food too low and their cardio too high to begin with. So, strength training is important, okay? It is gonna allow you to build a better metabolism. The better your metabolism, the more food you can eat. The more food you can eat, the, the, more, the higher chance you're gonna actually keep this weight off. Good luck on your 800 calories per day. Good luck running that year round and running six times a week. It doesn't happen. You fall off and when you fall off, your metabolism is in the toilet, the calories are too high, you gain fat very quickly, you start yo-yoing and then you end up listening to this video. So the benefits of building muscle, of strength training for females, okay? Obviously increase muscle mass. So we know that that is gonna allow you to eat more food. It's gonna give you a better metabolism, okay? Which is also gonna lead to you holding less body fat. Very important, we want muscle on our body. You are not going to get huge and muscular. It's not gonna happen for you. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you wanna lose weight in the first place. And if you were genetic elite, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be here in the first place, okay? Now, it builds shape. How often do you see people getting, you know, the term skinny fat being thrown around? If you're somebody that just runs all the time and doesn't have any muscle, you can end up not really having much shape. We want to build our glutes, be strong, you know, and have shape, okay? Like I said, if you start strength training, we're gonna have a metabolism increase, which has a whole host of benefits, which I'm gonna to get to. Longevity joint health, ligament strength, less chances of injury. And obviously the big one, as I've just said, is you get to eat more food. Remember, the, the whole point of this is being able to sustain it. There's no point being in shape for a couple of months a year. We wanna always be in shape, always be in shape. And it's possible, but you need to be strength training, okay? Without weights, to lose body fat, food has to be very low, okay? And this tends to, have, to come to low adherence. If you wanna go out on weekends, and you're, and you're having to do 800 calories across the week to lose body fat and, and run all the time or do high cardio classes, you're not gonna stick to this long term, let's be honest. Cardio has to be very high. Without weights, you need to go super low food, super high cardio. Again, and this leads to adherence. Can you really keep that up long term? I don't know anybody that can do six spin classes a week. And, you, know, you need to have a life. And again, it leads to this kind of skinny fat where they don't have much muscle, they're still not that lean. They've got to really diet themselves into the ground to get lean and um, they're more prone to body fat, okay? So why should women strength train and what I recommend? If your goal is to be lean, have low levels of body fat, be strong, we need, we need to weight train, okay? I recommend three training sessions per week three to four sessions per week, okay? Not everyone can train six days a week, okay? Not everyone's a trainer or a coach. If you're an average person, a female, a mum, a wife, you have a job, three times a week is probably the sweet spot for you, 
You do not have to be in an amazing gym. I've made plenty of home plans in my time. Get a bench, get some dumbbells from light to a little bit heavy, and you can get into amazing shape with just dumbbell training, okay? If we're training three times a week, we're gonna do our full body. So full body three times a week. If we're training four times a week, we'd move that into an upper lower, upper lower, and you can get a bit more advanced with glutes and posterior and all that, which we'll leave out for today. Now, three training sessions a week, I still recommend two to three cardio sessions per week. You can tag these onto your sessions. You could do 45 minutes of weight training, and then maybe 15 to 20 minutes of cardio three times a week. And that way you're getting kind of the benefits of both. You can also, at the end of your training sessions, you can do hit cardio. Uh, I recommend something on a bike, a ski erg, or a rower, something low impact with a low chance of injury. And the key to kind of staying lean as a female is you wanna slowly increase your calories over time. So if your strength, imagine this person without training, they have to have a thousand calories a day to drop body fat, six cardio classes a week. This person is probably able to maintain their body weight on 13, 14, 1500 calories, and it's going to increase over time. Let's say they are maintaining their weight at 1500 calories. If they increase that to 1600, okay, what they're gonna find is their body weight will probably stay the same, except they'll be getting stronger over time. They'll be getting fitter over time because they're not starving themselves. You then go 1,700, 1,800. If you can get to, your, to the point where a female, where you can eat maybe 2,000 calories a day, you're strength training, you're getting relatively strong, keep this stuff basic, lunges, squats, deadlifts, hip hinges, pull downs, presses, all of this stuff, keeping your cardio consistent, if you can get to a point where you can eat maybe 2,000 calories a day, when it comes to switching to a fat loss phase, all you have to do is maybe drop to 1,750 calories, take your cardio from maybe 15 minutes to 30 minutes, and you're gonna be very responsive and start losing body fat, and you'll have a great shape that you'll be building from this, this muscle building work care. This person, they're gonna eventually run into a sticking point because no one can sustain 1,000 calories. No one can sustain uh, multiple hours of cardio per week. And this person is gonna eventually fall off. And if that person falls off and starts eating 2,000 calories a day, and let's say they get injured, their cardio goes from six times a week to zero, they lose motivation, their adherence dips. If this person who's been eating 1,000 calories for six to eight weeks starts eating 2,000 calories per week, they are going to get fat very quickly, okay? So the key to get females and males in shape is to strength train multiple times per week, keep cardio in year round, and slowly increase your calories. You shouldn't always be dieting, okay? Go through a fat loss phase, I've spoken about this in other videos, and then take yourself through a reverse dieting phase and slowly increase calories over time. I've trained females that have started at 1800 calories, I've taken them down to 13, 1400 calories over a period of time and then reversed them up to 22, 2300 calories, and they've ended up leaner at the end, eating 2200 calories, than when I finished the diet, because we did it slowly and we did it controlled. You have to strength train as a female.